Dr. Anthony Wolf is a professor and chair of the Department of Public Health at the College of Health Profession at Marshall University. Throughout his research in public health in West Virginia, he discovered that health disparity among minority and medically underserved communities was a problem and need urgent attention. One of the reasons why uh, patients die from these diseases is because these diseases are not uh, detected early. If you detect uh, hypertension early, then it's easy to manage it, right? Yeah. If you uh, detect uh, diabetes early, it is easy to, to manage it. So, from a public health perspective, the idea is to at least identify these diseases before they cause illness, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And why that is important in the minority community is because, for example, West Virginia has a lower income level. Yeah. Uh, the average household income mm -hmm. 2024 of West Virginia is 55000 And if you have 55, if you earn 55000 in your household, you have to choose between putting food on the table and having health care. Yeah. Right. With his passion in research and teaching at Marshall University, and in order to bridge the gap between hair disparity, he created the Minority Hair Institute, through which many less privileged students has obtained a master's degree in public health. Our distinguished faculty, graduates, families, and friends, it is my distinguished pleasure to welcome you to this auspicious occasion on behalf of our Dean of the College of Health Professions, Dr. Michael Pruitt, and on my own behalf. This occasion is designed to honor you, the graduates, for your hard work. He researched work, landed him a grant of $1 million for Unicare of West Virginia, through which her minority health fair was born in 2018. So six years ago, in 2018, I was invited to Marshall University to head the Department of Public Health and to be a professor. And um, I brought with me what I conceptualized as the Minority Health Institute. The overarching goal of the institute is to engage in research, health promotions, and disease prevention. And one of the means that I thought was to accomplish this is to organize a health fair in West Virginia, particularly in Cabo County where Marshall University and the Department of Public Health is based. According to Dr. Wolf, part of the grant from Unit Care gave minority students the opportunity in the form of scholarship to obtain a master's degree in public health for free. Um, but it was, it's totally worth it. Um, don't ever feel like you're not capable of doing grad school. Um, this is an awesome program. The professors really, really care about you. Small class sizes, so it's more, um, you know, intimate with the with your professors and your your cohorts. And according to Dr. Wolf, he is very happy with the achievement that him and his team has been able to accomplish. One of the one of the accomplishments is that before this program was initiated, was instituted, there was nothing like uh, minority health uh, fed in, in West Virginia, uh, period. Mm -hmm. The most important thing that needs to be emphasized is the benefit that it brings to the community because these organizations come and do uh, activities such as screening. Uh, I myself, I have just screened uh, done a screening for diabetes. Uh, they have done screening for other diseases. And so this is a major benefit to the community. Looking forward, he has started a nine-month certificate program in public health where high school graduates could gain admission and train to become public health technicians. Another degree program, certificate program, mm -hmm. that, would, that would train students from minority communities to come to Marshall and earn uh, a certificate in public health. What they do with that certificate is to become public health workers in a community. Okay. Right? So and why is it different from uh, the master's degree program? Well, the master's degree program is a graduate program. Yeah, okay. Right? Yeah, but yeah. this is a certificate program. Uh, the minimum requirement is high right. school. High school, yeah. and, and it is important to note that 50% of high school graduates 
in West Virginia do not go to college. Yeah. So, but Needless to emphasize on some of the free services offered each year due to health fair, like the immunization, which is one of the ways of bringing health care access closer to the underserved population. Enes Kumba for Gaza Media.